Hey guys, this is Team Ven and today we are going to talk about the iPhone 6. Everybody wants to know what the next iPhone is going to be like. Whether it will have a full HD screen, or whether it will have Beats Audio. Therefore, it is the next big thing in the mobile world, and we, at Team Van, are going to share the latest scoop on the next generation iPhone 6 in this video. We will divide the video into subcategories. First Design Rumors about the next generation iPhone have been accelerating in recent weeks, with the majority focusing on the screen size of the device, which is expected to increase. The size of the iPhone's display grew from 3.5 inches to 4 inches, with the iPhone 5, and with the iPhone 6, the screen will grow even larger. Apple has been experimenting with a wide variety of screen sizes, with the most consistent rumors suggesting a range of 4.7 inches and 5.5 inches, bringing the next iPhone in line with competing Android and Windows phones that have all adopted larger displays. Along with a larger screen, the iPhone the 6th of May feature a durable sapphire display in at least some models, and rumors have also indicated the iPhone the 6th of May adopt slimmer bezels and a thinner chassis. The iPhone 6 will be significantly thinner than the current iPhone 5S, possibly between 6mm and 7mm, and will have an all-aluminium chassis similar to the 5th generation iPod Touch. The display will be a 1366 by 768 display coming in at 326 pixels per inch thereby retaining the Retina display tag. Processor The iPhone 5S incorporates a 64-bit 8728 nanometer chip manufactured by Samsung. Apple's iPhone 6 will reportedly utilize a 20 nanometer A8 chip which will be both smaller and more energy efficient. The A7 chip marked a 31% improvement over the A6 in the iPhone 5, and it is likely that the leap to a 20 nm A8 chip will offer similar increases in performance. The A8 chip is rumored to include both a quad-core 64-bit processor and quad-core graphics and production is said to be underway as of February of 2014. It's believed, however, the A8 of May only contain 1 GB of RAM, the same as the A7. Apple is most probably continue with its M7 motion processor, with some minor improvements. Camera A recent rumor has suggested that the iPhone the 6th of May continue to use the 8 megapixel sensor found in the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C while adding other camera improvements. Optical image stabilization is one way the camera in the iPhone the 6th of May be improved. And there are reports that Apple will integrate OIS into the iPhone 6 and has been working on striking a deal with Invenzenza, a company that manufactures an OIS gyroscope. Though some sources have pointed towards optical image stabilization for the next iPhone, an April rumor suggested Apple might instead opt for electronic image stabilization in order to incorporate a slimmer camera that will not protrude out of the thin body of the phone. It's not clear what image stabilization method Apple will use in the iPhone 6, but camera improvements have always been the focus for the company with each new iPhone. Other sensors Apple's iPhone 6 is likely to continue to feature the Touch ID fingerprint sensor first found in the iPhone 5S, and a recent rumor indicated that TSMC will produce fingerprint sensors for the device. Other sensors may be bundled into the iPhone 6 to bring it on par with smartphones from competing companies like Samsung. One analyst has indicated that the iPhone 6 could add a pressure, temperature, and humidity sensor, a feature that would allow the iPhone to compete with the newly launched GS5, a phone that includes atmospheric sensors and a heart rate monitor. According to another analyst report, Apple's next Generation iPhone may support the 80211 C Wi-Fi standard that first began appearing in Apple products in 2013. 80211 C Wi-Fi offers speeds up to three times as fast as existing 80211 in wireless networks. Release date According to latest reports, Apple will launch the 4.7-inch screen Apple iPhone 6 in the month of August or September, and the 5.5-inch screen in 2015. Hope you enjoyed the video. For more scoop on the iPhone 6 please subscribe to my channel and do give a thumbs up to this video.